What is going on guys? This is EK1 Gaming here and in today's video we're going to be going through some software which allows you to record your screen, your screen and webcam together or just your webcam. Now this software is useful for anyone who is doing YouTube videos, tutorials, even if you just want to show someone how to do something by a step-by-step -step video guide. The best part of this software, it's free. So before we get into the video, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do to get this software is head over to the link in the description below or just copy this link here. Now, when you get to this page, you're going to want to click download, whether you want the free version or you want the lifetime version, which is only $30. So if you want to click download, you can also use this on Windows and Mac, so it's got you covered either way. Once it downloads, you will have the software on your system or on your PC. I've already got it downloaded here, so you can see that I have the video proc software downloaded on my computer. If you double click that, it's going to open video proc for us to see, and you're going to have multiple options. One of the options is video. DVD, downloader, and recorder. In today's video, we are gonna go over the recorder because I feel like this will help a lot of you, especially aspiring YouTubers or people who want to uh, do tutorials or just record their general gameplay. So if you click recorder, you will be faced with this screen here. Now on this screen here, you have three options at the top. Now before we get into these options, they're quite self-explanatory. I wanna go through some settings with you first. So if you click the cog button, settings, go down to recorder, and just make sure you check all the settings are suitable for your system. So you want hardware acceleration on, if you have this option. Now you want to select, of course, where you save all of your videos or music or snapshots. So basically pick a folder that you know you can get to, and then when it's down here, when it comes to the recorder settings, you just make sure you make it on high or you put it on high. You have it as MP4 or whatever format you choose. I do prefer MP4 because the file size is more um, capable and MP4 is recognized in a lot more editing software um, programs. Uh, desktop audio device, I've got mine as default because I don't believe I'm gonna be playing any uh, sound through it at the moment. But if you are, just go ahead and pick whichever one you want. If you have a Go XLR like myself, you can pick game, music, system, however you want it to come through. Then of course, the most important if you're gonna be doing voiceover is chat mic or what mic do you use? So again, with the Go XLR, I have mine set up so I can use it under chat mic. You might have yours if you wanna use voice mods uh, under microphone or, or it might be Blue Yeti. You just pick whichever one you use. With the encoder, make sure it's hardware NVENC. So if you have a um, GeForce RTX or NVIDIA graphics card, make sure you've got hardware NVENC on. If you don't have a good enough graphics card or a graphics card that supports that, make sure you use one of these two. However, this will be using your CPU. So instead of using your graphics card to do the processing and do the hard work, it will use your CPU. So try not to have anything else open at the same time. Your camera device, now this could be whatever you use to capture your webcam. So this will be if you're using a webcam. If you're just using screen record, you don't have to worry about this. But I can use my webcam or my camera itself, which is a Sony A6000. And we click Cam Link 4K because I have an Algato Cam Link. If you just have a webcam, it will just appear here as Logitech or whatever webcam you have. Now, there are two things here, which one of these is a... Um, kind of a uh, shortcut key to stop recording or to start recording. So you can basically change this to whatever you want. So when you start recording, if you want to just press P on your keyboard, it will stop the recording. So it saves you having to move your mouse and click a button and then having to edit that out in the end. You can simply just press P. Paint tools, I don't get involved in the paint tools, but you can press Control, Alt, Shift, and T, or whatever you want to do, and then you can kind of um, paint and draw on the, on the screen as well. 
So also show mouse in recording. Do you want the mouse to be seen? Do you want the clicks to be seen? So by clicks, there's every time you click, there is a circle that appears where you click, which helps people if you're doing tutorials. Uh, do you want to show the key in recording or show a countdown? I don't have any of those selected. So for me, those are the settings to go for. There's not a lot to change, but let's get into the actual software itself. Now, currently we're not using this software to record this video, but I will show you me using the software to record the software, if that makes any sense, but we'll get into that in just a second. So the first one you can do is screen. So now this basically is self-explanatory. It's your screen. So I have three monitors. As you can see here, one, two, three. If you have two monitors, you'll just have two monitors or just one, it will just have let you select one. So what I can do is flick from um, screen one to screen two, as you can see. So screen one's got all my um, uh, folders and desktop stuff on there. Screen two is just like a spare screen that I use for recording stuff. And then screen three is where I have this open. As you can see, I'm moving it now. So you can see it moving inside. So pick whatever screen you want to be recording. Now this could be that you want to have a game on screen one, you know, so you can actually, um, you know, start recording your gameplay or recording whatever you like on screen one. So whatever's on screen one, it will record. Now you can do something which is pretty, you know, pretty advanced, pretty good. So I'm just gonna open a random uh, picture. So let me just put that picture onto screen one. So this is gonna be the thumbnail for this video. Uh, what you can do is say there's a part of this screen you just want to focus on. You don't want all of this extra stuff here. So for example, say this is over here, but I don't want people to see what's on my desktop. What you can do is click the crop button and then you can select either a screen or you can select a um, area. So if I select like a screen, you just click on the screen and it will only focus on that part of the screen. So let's just go ahead and draw a square around the screen so you guys can see. See how now on the screen, it will only show you this part. The desktop uh, imagery or the desktop folders have disappeared. You can also see the clicking motion as well, which we turned on earlier. So when, every time I click, there's a circle that comes around it and that's to indicate what I'm pressing. So now if you say, for example, change your mind, you just click crop and then escape. So you just click, sorry, crop, and then you literally just go ahead and click the screen again and then press the tick and then it comes up big. Do not press escape, escape will cancel if you're trying to crop. Now, for me, this is very handy if you, um, for example, uh, playing a smaller clip or you have something small here that you just want to kind of focus on for a little while. And then in the editing, you can, you know, make it bigger and make it smaller or simply just add uh, different transitions in. So say if you want it to look like you've zoomed in, so you can have it like zoomed into your face and your webcam or um, zoomed into a folder. This It's really simple, really easy to use. And I think that's one of the very uh, good benefits of using this piece of software. So we haven't got anything cropped now. What you can do is you can record your webcam, which we're not gonna to do today. We're gonna to focus more on screen. And then you can also record screen and webcam. Again, we're not gonna focus on this in today's video, uh, but we, if you want me to do another video, make sure you hit the like button and obviously leave me a comment in the comment section below to tell me which section you want me to cover. But today it's gonna to be all about screen. So we've got the screen open here. Let's see if we can open a game and I'll just show you guys exactly what the um, you know what it looks like. So let's open. Oh, I don't even know which game to open. I think Destiny's got an update, so we won't open that. Let's go for the division because I don't think that has any updates. So right now it's just updating, but we'll skip ahead in the video until the game is open. So as you can see, we have the game on the screen. It looks literally clear. Now, the issue we've got here right now is it might be jolty a little bit, and that is because I'm recording off a recorder that's recording the game. So what I'm gonna do is show you some footage of the actual uh, video proc software recording the game live or recording the game uh, fresh, not through a third party. So let's go ahead and show you that footage.
So as you can see now, we are recording using video proc. Now I've got to say that the response time of the movement is perfect. It's literally live. Like as I turn sharp movements, it's absolutely perfect. I could even play the game by watching it on the video proc software. However, the screen is a little bit small, so you wouldn't be able to get the full potential of the game. So as you can see, the game is working fine. The uh, graphics look good. The quality is, is very good. Um, and you can do this, and it's recording the game sound, which is coming through my system, which is set up in the, um, in the speaker settings. And it's also recording my voice over the top. So if you wanted to do some kinds of um, tutorials or build videos, so say you're going through builds, you can literally just go ahead and go through them. Um, or if you wanted to just do some uh, commentary on some gameplay, you could do that as well, including adding in your own uh, your own webcam if you like to appear on your videos. So now you've seen us report recording some gameplay on the screen. I'm going to show you. This is us using the video proc software again. So you can see I'm recording my own screen, which is basically recording and recording. Um, so you can see now that the last video that we recorded was the gameplay here, and that is stored there. You can click here to go straight to the folder, or you can basically just delete it or do whatever you want with it from here. This is a good thing. I really like the fact that you get your saved folders here, and you can see a couple of them that you've just recorded. So if there is a, a mistake or something like that, you can just press delete, and it goes and disappears from your folder without having to go through and search for the ones that are right and the ones that are wrong, because that is a painstaking long process. So apart from that, that's about everything on this software or this screen capture software. Like I said, there's the webcam, there's a screen and webcam, and there's other functions like uh, converters and stuff like that on here. Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this helpful, don't forget to use the link in the description below to download it for free. Let me know what you think. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.